Hello, my friends. Welcome to Paradise. Well, I, I mean, Hearts of Iron 4, of course. Um, today, oh, today, we are very, we're very hungry for, um, more world domination, you know? We've already kind of got there. We, we took over a lot of random stuff in Russia and everywhere else. Things are good. Yeah, we're, we're, we're Germany, of course, led by the, this, this guy, the mustache man, the man of many names, led by the NASDAQ, that one, um, stock market fund. That's his ruling party. But anyways. <laughs> We'll start things off with the man on the moon. But yeah, somehow I've, I've never played as Germany in this mod, even though Germany's kind of the main country. Italy won too, I guess, but all they really did was drain the Mediterranean and make these weird island things. Also, here's the best country, Omsk. I, I definitely haven't made a mega campaign based off of them and made way too many videos. Uh, today, we don't worry about Omsk, we worry about the beautiful Unity Park. We have our boy Heinrich over here. We have our good friend Werner. I don't even think he's Danish. I think he's, yeah, he's just German. I, I don't know, that, that's kind of weird. Why, why are German people in charge of everywhere? I don't know. We obviously are just friends with everybody, right? Am I right? What's that symbol? What, what, what even is that thing? I can't even see it, it's too blur. I'll just replace it with something else. Something, something great that everybody likes. Oh, and also helicopters. Every time I play this mod, I keep talking about how I'm going to use helicopters and then I never use helicopters. Maybe today's the day. I also have moved all my divisions around Moscow just to flex really hard. Wait, can I request all my puppets forces and put them around Moscow too? So who's going to be the mustache man successor? Hopefully someone better than him. Borman, Goring, Speer, or Heydrich. Goring did eat my Discord server, which was very unfortunate, but uh, you know, I, I forgive him. The mustache man's condition worsens, fortunately. Also, now I believe we're playing blackjack and we're smiling for the cameras. What a great, wholesome focus. Oh, great, and we'll dine with high society. This is, this is perfect. Also, I just keep bringing here divisions to our side. I feel like this is great. We're, we're just stealing other people's divisions. I'll just keep doing it, even though it decreases our legitimacy. And our legitimacy is currently the the lowest, but I'm, I'm not too worried. I, I don't know. And he's gone, that means it's about to get started, you know, the great battle royale of everybody in Germany. Every single citizen gets to participate, and the last one standing gets to be the new leader. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, it's begun. Oh, this is gonna be fun, guys. Okay. But yeah, we'll defeat all these guys. We should easily be able to take out Heydrich's little resistance in Prussia, I think. Oh, wait, is our... All the things organized? Uh, kind of. Yeah, we seem pretty powerful though. I think we're in a pretty good situation. Maybe Borman's in the best? Uh, I, I don't know. If I had a guess, I would guess that Borman was in the best situation right now, but I, I, I can't be sure. We'll just do what we can though. I, I think this over here is probably our first priority just to clean up this, make our borders nice. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, look at those sunglasses. Oh, okay, and let's do this. Okay, here we go. Oh, this front is looking pretty good, honestly. Hmm, we might be able to quickly defeat Speer. We'll just let those guys get some planning bonus. Yeah, Speer landed over here in Hamburg. Uh, at least their lines have thinned out quite a bit now. I don't, I don't really think they could afford to take this port and open a new front over here. They just don't have the divisions. <laughs> Nice, I was terrible at defending naval invasions, but now we own the entire northern coast, so I, I don't think we have to worry about that anymore. Just have to clean this up and then we're back. Yeah, that was kind of an oversight there, not garrisoning ports in Prussia and Hamburg, but yeah, we're, we're okay.
Okay, well, we have almost surrounded some of their forces, a lot of their forces, as a matter of fact. Uh, we kind of got surrounded ourselves a little bit, but we broke free. I've only lost two divisions to encirclement so far, so that's not too bad. We're almost done with Borman. Soon his army will be too weak to really do anything. Okay, and I think this is the end, most likely. This, these divisions, these ten divisions, probably will seal their fate. Richard Nixon, gone. Nah. Oh well. Oh, okay, now there's only one Germany left. It's the one we started the battle against, and it's the one we'll finish it fighting. They pretty much just own the Maginot. At least the Maginot's been dismantled, uh, otherwise that would be terrible. Hey, look at that! Now we're just, you know, uh, one country in the world. We are, we no longer have a faction that controls everything. We have so many possibilities. We can start with a good old lesson from the Soviets and do a good old great purge, of course. I'm not exactly sure, um, Italy's, like, becoming a democracy or something. I, I doubt that's good. Um, yeah, I really don't want this organization of free, free nations to get any bigger. That's, uh, not, not, not good. On our side, we're just dealing with Germany and ruins. I, I really don't know how that happened either. I, I assume this will fix it a little bit, maybe, by doing, you know, a good five-year plan. Uh, five-year plans. There's, there's a lot of five-year plans. We can't really expand it all until we fix the Germany and ruins focus, unfortunately, so... I assume conquering these guys would could probably help our economy, but it's it's a uh, it's fine. Also, Omsk has died, so oh well. Um, <laughs> that that's unfortunate. Um, if Tomsk can win, that that'd be that'd be okay. I'd be okay with that. Well, of course, I'm only slightly okay with it. They will all um perish under the heel of um Goring eventually, but for now, for now. Also, why does Heinrich hate us so much? What's what's going on here? Um, uh, okay, yeah, okay, there. Um, yeah. Also, South Africa's kind of doing a good job a little bit, so I think we might need to help out these three boyos down in Africa. I guess we can start doing some of these focuses, just do what we can to help. Can't let the USA and the CIA and all those guys meddle around, you know? Oh, wow, I forgot, I could just send volunteers too. That's, that's nice. Yeah, I, I forgot about that mechanic. Yeah, this war, um, does not look good for our friends. I don't know how this is going so poorly. Uh, they really do need our help. Oh yes, we have reclaimed the capital of the Boer Republic, and we are going to most likely encircle these divisions too. I really think we're making a difference here. But now it's time for um, our own conquests and, you know, exercising our own ambitions with War Plan Zero, I think, or O, which I guess is like these Eastern things in Denmark. I guess we'll start preparing over here just for some fun little skirmishes. Nothing to be concerned about, like Denmark only has four divisions, Poland, uh, like ten. Okay, it looks like we have some sort of time limit on how long we have to invade these places, so I guess we can annex Bohemia, and we'll just put them on some random front where- oh no, not the Danish one, we don't need more divisions on that one. Wait, do I get a free war goal? What, what's gonna happen here? I'm, I'm, or is it just gonna automatically declare in a little while? Oh no, I can't- I can't for the life of me figure out how we're supposed to actually go to war. Ah, I found it. It was at the bottom, down here. There's all this new stuff. It looks pretty cool, like, uh, it's like glowing a cool way. There's like cool people around it and these torches. I don't know, it's- it's pretty cool. But oh well, I guess we'll start. I guess we should probably start building up a navy too, honestly. That's probably an important thing. We'll just start spamming out some subs, I guess. I'm just worried because everything seems like it's on a timer, and that means that we're going to probably have to invade England soon, so, um, we at least need some way to get naval supremacy in the English Channel, just so we can, you know, hop across there. We just declared war on, um, the Netherlands, so I accidentally declared on them instead of Denmark, okay, we'll, we'll move over there and deal with them. Fall of Warsaw, there we go. Impending economic collapse? Oh, oh no, um, 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 wait a second. I think we need to hurry and get at peace in like next five days. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Yeah, well those guys are done. I guess it's just the Netherlands now. Um, I think that was just like phase one of the economy collapsing. Oh yeah, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with the economy right now. It's, it's kind of interesting for sure. Nice, and we won, but, um, um we're, we're immediately being forced to, um, start War Plan A in 112 days, so that's great. Yeah, maybe, maybe we should have just waited a little while before starting this sequence. Maybe built up our army a bit more, but it's 
probably fine. Wait a second, we have ICBMs? Wow, that's, um, that's kinda nice. Um, uh, we, I might just use a few of those, just, just for fun to see what they do. Also, yeah, we're, we're kind of running out of time to do this. I guess I'll start it next. And here we go, new time limit. The England is probably going to be the hardest one, so we'll deal with them first. Oh, wow. Wait, why is this focus tree so big? What, what is th I guess let's start this and we'll go after England first. Oh no, yeah, this is gonna be difficult. We have to like go down these focus trees quite a bit in some cases to get the wargles. They also conquered our like puppet state in Cornwall, so we have to avenge Cornwall, yes. It's not because our military leaders will revolt if we don't. Oh, that's nice, we can just reestablish Ukraine. That's, that's good. Yeah, I guess we don't even have to worry about Ukraine. Oh no. Oh, okay, good, good. It's green. No oh, offense stands with the Kingdom of England? No, no. You, that's illegal. Don't, as long as they don't join the faction, you can, you can send your convoys and your volunteers, just don't join, oh. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna get the port. The cast was very helpful. Um, it's time to bring every army over there. Okay. Plenty of time. We have plenty of time. Easy win, easy win. It wasn't even hard. It, I wasn't even stressed. Now Franz is the new leader. Wait, and do they still keep their navy? No. Okay, Franz, you better rebuild that navy, okay? But anyway, this has been pretty interesting so far. I'm excited to see where this goes. It'll definitely continue soon. Soon, yeah. I don't know how difficult this is gonna be because it looks like there are um, severe constraints on how much time we have to conquer places. So like, for a while it's gonna be easy when we're going after just like weak countries. But once we start getting to like Japan, and the US, and maybe even Italy, yeah, definitely Italy too. It's not gonna be so fun, and it looks like some of those places aren't too far away, like Italy. Um, yeah, um, this is not gonna be very good soon. Soon it's gonna all go downhill.